Okay, wait. So the first thing I wrote, I did is I said, I don't know if this is helpful, but n times k choose two is n choose two. Let me write b one to b n one to n. So then you can of each of them is k. N times k choose two is number of paths with length two like this, right? Yeah. yeah. Then what? And I set that equal to and choose two. Um, wait. B I B J. So intersection of B I and B J is like a two step uh, path with and one to N as a vertice. Okay, wait, so wait. What I basically said was if I have one and two and I connect them both to B1, and then. Uh, look, when you say n times k choose two, you're calculating paths with length two like this, right? Oh, yeah. We can okay, so over. if you calculate from here, we say, okay, we have n vertices here. For each of them, we have k choose two, right? Yeah. yeah. But if you calculate from here, from these two, then you will reach another formula by the assumption of the problem. And because choose two. And choose two, and choose two and because choose it two. says for each two elements in uh, each two elements in A comes in exactly one subset. So it is n choose two. So if you simplify this equation, we can reach what? Uh, okay, so I did this in one over one. Hopeful. n times n minus one over two. So I get k times k minus one is equal to uh, n minus one. Yes, or k choose 2 is equal to n minus 1 over 2, right? Mm -hmm. Or k times k minus 1 is equal to n minus 1, right? Yeah. I'm thinking is this problem correct? Let me bring the book. And, uh, okay, k times k minus 1 is n minus 1. So it says prove what? Prove that for all i and j, b i intersect b j. Ah, b i intersect b j is one. So it means that for yeah. each two elements, we have only one like this, right? Uh huh. Yeah, so we should right. prove we don't have something like this, right? Yeah, because if you do that, then the the two elements one and two would appear in two different subsets. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so there is no cycle with link four, right? We should prove this. Yeah, because as soon as you do this, those two elements are, are in two different subsets now, instead of one subset together. Mm, yes. So if you concept from here, intersection of each two of them. So it's so, less than less than two, but I don't know how to prove it's exactly one sometimes. Could you prove we don't have these or not? I, I prove that it has to be less than two, that or like the intersection can't be more than. Do we have a condition in this problem, or how it will view uh, five eleven five? This problem a one to a n b one to b n. Okay, no, we don't have any other condition. Okay, so um. Here, k choose 2 is this one. So if I want to prove there is no 
means so we should prove there is no intersection like this. So when we say because uh, the, the each two elements in A can only come in one subset together. So when you do this, there's only there's they come in two subsets now. Each two elements in A comes in exactly can... one subset. Uh-huh. Yeah, like that. So we don't so need to calculate there's... anything, right? No, yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. Uh-huh, yes. Okay, because I don't you want to prove this and the problem is for each two elements, there is exactly one. Uh-huh. So by concept, because there is no this, we prove there is no this because for each two elements i and j, or for example, x and y. We know that there is exactly one, so we don't have to. So by considering this, we prove that what what we proved about B I union B J intersect B J less than or less than or equal to one. Less than or equal one, but still we've not proved it is equal yeah. to one. Oh, maybe for proving equal to one, we should say that, right? So let's yeah. write this one again. N times K choose two, which is equal to N choose two. Okay, how can we prove it is equal to 1? Uh, when you have something like this and you want to prove equal to 1, one hint for proving equal to 1 or 1 to try at all? I need a hint because that's what I didn't know to do. Uh -huh, okay, so when you have a lot of things like this and all of them are less than or equal to 1 and you prove want to prove all of them equal 1, you should consider sigma of them, okay? If we consider sigma b i should be j, it it means what? For example, you can say b i b j, and then all these elements, right? Yeah. Okay, so it would be equal to number of paths with links two like this, right? Mm hmm Okay, so. Can we say anything about these, uh, for example, two elements here or something like that? Well, well you can say it's less than something, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about equal. We could say it's the sum of the degrees of like one, two to n. We can, for example, if you want to relate this one to this one, and uh, we know it is equal to this, and it is less than or equal to, at least we can say it is less than or equal to what? It is less than or equal to uh, what? And choose two. And we know number of these is equal to n choose two, right? Yeah. And here we have n elements, here we have n elements, right? Yeah. Okay, so if we have less than n choose 2, is it possible to... Uh -huh. For each two elements, for example, look, it is i, for example, b, i, b, j. If we have i, for example, and j, and... Uh, uh -huh. if we only want to prove B i intersect B j is not zero, right? Yeah. Suppose B i B j. Let me erase this i and j. Suppose this intersection is zero for one of them. So it covers okay. this. It covers this. Okay. So these two elements should have one intersection, right? Yeah. These two elements should have again another intersection. So here we have k, here we have k, right? Yeah. We have k squared b i b j. Wait, why k squared? And because for each element here and each element here because of this. 
there exists a BI, right? BB, for example, some. Oh, yeah. Okay, can you reach any good result by considering that? So it needs to be K squared other subsets. Uh, let's consider something. Let's consider this one is D1 to Dn, okay? Yeah. It is what in terms of Di? Um, D sigma Di choose 2. Yes, and if we use inequality, we can say sigma Di choose 2 is at least what? Mm, let's see, I choose two. Um, we can say this at least what in terms of K and N? Um, what was Oh, okay, so K times N. Um, well, the total number of total number of edges is K times N. It is what? Can you say it again? Well, the total number of edges is K times N, right? Um, exactly. So then use AMQM? Um, yes. Okay. So I got two k squared n minus k n over two. Let me write two k squared n minus k over two, like this. K n. K n over two. K -N over two. Yeah. Okay, so look, do you agree if you use AMQM, then you will see the uh, equality holds when what? When you They're use AM. Equal. Then all of them equal. are equal. And if all the eyes be equal, they are equal to what? Uh, K. Okay. K. Okay. So by this trick, you can quickly find it n times K. Choose. Understood? Yeah, are these, are these the same expression? Yeah. You can say we can apply AMQM. Okay, and, and if you want to write it in your answer sheet, it's not good to write this, but for checking quickly, you can reach this. Okay? If you want to write yeah. in your answer sheet, you can say, okay, it's sigma di squared minus di over 2, right? Yeah. So sigma di is squared, it is, but it is equal to. So sigma di is squared is at least what is sigma di whole squared over uh, 2n, right? Yeah. Minus sigma di over 2. Sigma di is yeah. nk, right? Over 2. Yeah. This one is yeah. nk, so it would be equal to what? nk squared over 2 minus nk over 2, which yeah. is equal to nk k minus 1 over 2, which is equal to n times k choose 2, right? No, it's... Wait, what? I thought it's... Because d1, d1 plus... Look, d1 plus d2 oh, to okay. the n is not some of yeah. the degrees of all vertices, only one side. Yeah, okay. That's the reason it's not equal to two times number of edges. It's equal to number of edges, right? Okay. So you can use this, or you can say, okay, we know at the end when you use AMQM, equality whole, when all the eyes are equal, all the eyes, if all the eyes are equal, then all of them are equal to K, and you can say, okay, it's N times K choose 2. Now by using this inequality and the things that we said here and the whole things that we considered, we can easily prove that and the sentence of the problem that we are interesting has exactly well it's because n, n times k choose 2 is equal to n choose 2 from exactly the other here we prove 
So then they are equal. And this one is n times k choose two because they are equal, so all these inequalities should be equal, right? Yeah. So they are equal. Because this one is at least this, we know we have equality here, so equal, so we prove, right? Yeah.